A Golden Hamster by Hannah Wensham Shea. In early 1839, the British zoologist George Robert Waterhouse discovered a small animal in the desert that surrounds the Syrian city of Aleppo. He named his find Golden Hamster. Looking into her black and surprisingly large eyes, George made a secret wish. I wish that I could be a hamster and live but three springs. Three years as a hamster, George thought, would bring more delight than fifty human summers could ever contain. In the blink of an eye, the pretty rodent escaped his grip and ran back into her sandy burrow. As spring approaches, hamsters groom themselves several times a day and start looking for mates. The male hamster enters the female's territory and marks the grass near her burrow with his scent. If the female hamster is receptive, she will sniff the male and allow him to investigate her head, ears and genital area. If the male hamster tries to overcome the female's instinctive reluctance by force, she will respond by jumping nervously and biting him about his face and scrotum. Hamsters do not make many sounds. They save their talk for important situations. Both male and female hamsters chatter their teeth rhythmically during courtship. Once mating is over, they revert to their solitary way of life. As George awoke one night from sweet dreams, he found himself transformed back into an ideal husband. Not wanting to disturb his wife and their young baby, he struggled to hold back his tears. Later that morning, the 9th of April, 1839, he would unveil the discovery of this new species at the Zoological Society of London.